um, well, this all started um, honestly with just a lot of passion and you know a lot of background for us. Um, working at the original escapade location, we you know had a lot of ideas that just started started flowing there and like well what if we did this and did this but the amount of space you know went there and the foundation that was already built um we were like well let's just open a sequel let's you know let's add in our own ideas to something that could be brand new and have our ideas flourish and build a game uh to not just enter an actor in it but build a game for the actor to be able to make their way around and this you know special effects that we have you know it it just all adds in and ties in together. So having, you know, hidden entrances and stuff that you don't even know about behind the scene when you're playing and you could think, oh, what's that door to? But you're never going to go inside that door. You don't know what that door goes to. Some things aren't doors. <laughs> yeah, some um, things aren't actually doors. You wouldn't even know where they come from most mm -hmm. of the time. You'd have to be very, very vigilant to find some yes. of the entrances that my actors have. <laughs> um, but there's so many places for them to come in and out, uh, so that way a guest could think that they're safe, you know, wherever they're at, and then all of a sudden there's an actor standing and behind them. You're not them. safe anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Zoe game uh, was probably about a thousand square feet, maybe 1100 square feet. Um, this location, that the amount that I use for the game is about 2250 um, for the game. Uh, the original game had five rooms, this one has 10, um, and it's 100 minutes versus an hour. So we've really just taken everything from Zoe and just like nearly doubled it. Just, yeah. <laughs> just overall, just double the size, double the scares, um, just so that when people come they can be like, wow, like. There's a lot of really cool Zoe aspects to the game, so they still know that this is a Zoe game, mm -hmm. um, but they're like, this is just like the bigger, better version of it. If you play escape rooms, you know Zoe. You know who's, you know what Zoe is. You've either played it or you've heard of it. Um, and so, you know, taking that task and, you know, facing it head on was extremely challenging and nerve wracking for us, but. I'm pretty sure we nailed it. <laughs> um, and the guest feedback has also said that we have nailed it. And um, I, I think that, I mean, personally, I created the game, I designed the game. I don't know if I'd play it. I would play it. <laughs> it's too scary. I, it, is, it is that scary that, you know, the creator won't even play their own game. <laughs> like, I, I have. I just don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I could play the game because I know who all the actors are. Yeah. But if I didn't know who they were and I was just scary. a person off the street, like, it would take some convincing to it come play this game. It is a scary game, game but it, at the end, you know, we've, we've literally had people walk into this ending room right here and just be just be like, oh my gosh, and like melt. And then like, they're just on the floor. <laughs> and they're just like, yeah. what just happened? That was so cool. You know, the special effects and the lighting and the sounds and the songs and like we, and the adrenaline, it's, it's, it's been amazing for us to see that feedback and take on this big monster and just over-excel it. <laughs> yep.